we're going to create a fresh, pretty look using makeup from Jane Iredale's Perfectly Nude Makeup Collection. Let's replenish some color with So Bronze 3 to fill in the brows. The Bitty Brow Kit in Blonde. We want to make them look denser without necessarily looking darker. So I start applying the color where the hairs are thinner. If you want to build it up a little bit deeper, you just keep adding color. Very versatile. Very pretty. I'm applying Cappuccino to the eyelid with the Deluxe Shader Eyeshadow Brush. I'm going to create a little bit of a highlight with one of the lighter shades called Cream. I'm going to place this right underneath your eyebrow and blend. So far, so good. Next, I'm going to use Jane Iredale's Jet Black Mascara in the Lengthening Formula. We want to shimmy at the base a little bit to optimize volume and enhance the illusion of thicker lashes. Very pretty. And for a perfect pout, we're going to stain your lips with lip fixation. I'm going to give this 45 seconds to a minute to set before I apply the gloss. So if you prefer a matte stain, we can keep it flat with no shine, but we're going to add a bit of a lovely luster with the gloss side. Perfectly nude. And it's easy to take your makeup from soft to sultry without even starting over. So for more intensity on the eyeshadow, wet the deluxe eye shader, and I'm just going to press it to the antique gold. And I press this onto the lid, right over our daytime look. Step two, we'll use the smudge brush under the lower lash line, just to sweep the same color from the outside corner and all the way across. Next, we're gonna take the sculpting brush and blend this in a little bit better. Beautiful. Okay, keep your eyes closed. If you are not comfortable using liquid eyeliner, you can optionally use a black eye pencil or the cream to powder liner with the angled liner brow brush. So let's put on some lashes. And we're gonna use a clean set of wide blade tweezers and just touch the lash point to the adhesive on the wand. And then just gently raise it up to your lash line and as soon as you touch it where you want it, let it go. Perfect. Very pretty. We're going to transition your lips as well uh, with fascination. And I'm placing this directly over the previous stain. Press your lips together gently. Perfect. So let's go ahead and gloss your lips up now that the stain has set. If I want to add an extra little pop, I'll just roll the brush right in the center. Absolutely gorgeous. 